logo of Guiding Eyes for the Blind. Good afternoon, everyone. At this time, I would like to introduce today's graduates of our residential program. First up, Thomas Class with Guide Dog Lynx. Pat Kelly with Guide Dog Iowa. <laughs> Elizabeth Lesperance and Guide Dog Sylvia. Sergio Faria and Guide Dog Illa. Erin Sutton and Guide Dog Gaston. <laughs> Vanessa Lewis and Guide Dog Thimble. <laughs> Michael Madfis and Guide Dog Jethro. Philip Goldberg and Guide Dog Sheldon. <laughs> Lucy Radford and Guide Dog Gunner. <laughs> Dorothy Moorcroft, Guide Dog Delaney. Stephen Wagner and Guide Dog May. <laughs> David Alvarez, Guide Dog Kendrick. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Catherine Poalo, and I have had the extreme pleasure of being class supervisor for our April 2019 graduating class. In addition to the 12 graduates seated behind me, we had three graduates who were trained solely in their home area through our home training program. I would like to acknowledge them now. Ashley Burke with Guide Dog Mikey was trained in Syracuse, New York. Ken Shelton with Guide Dog Pebbles was trained in his hometown of South Beach, North Carolina, and Robert Pulaski with Guide Dog Amore from Plainville, Connecticut. Let's give a warm round of applause for all our graduates. At this time, I would like to introduce Thomas Panic, our president and CEO. I asked for a dog, they gave me a horse. <laughs> Welcome to Guiding Eyes for the Blind, everybody. It's a real pleasure to have you celebrate the April graduating class with us. Uh, first of all, uh, today is an incredibly special day, not only because all of you are here to celebrate with us, but also because this is a moment in our lives as graduates where class, you get to go home with your new guide dog. And you know, what an amazing organization in terms of volunteerism, being able to provide these dogs with your help uh, in raising them to be who they are today, seeing them go through the training process through our guide dog mobility instructors, and then ending up here in front of these graduates about to take them forward and wherever life may take them. Uh, a guide dog mobility instructor is an interesting position. Uh, the people that train these dogs and brought them to who they are today really afforded the dogs that you raised the opportunity to become 
a working service animal. And it's a calling. It really is a calling. You know, Kathy Zabricki is with me here today, who you'll hear from in a moment. Uh, but we were reflecting on what is the skill set for guide dog mobility instructors. And before I talk about that skill set, I would just like to recognize our graduation sponsor, the University of Rhode Island. If you're with that school, please stand up and get a warm round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> the reason I bring up guide dog mobility instructor in, in a university uh, secondly, is because at some point in your career, you have to make a decision about what you want to do in life for work. And a guide dog mobility instructor is someone who is willing to love, well, first of all, loves dogs, right? Because you have to work with dogs every day. Um, what is he doing? <laughs> Stay, stay. And one of the things that uh, a GDMI has to do is they have to walk a lot because you're walking with the dogs and training them on a regular basis. You have to be willing to work in all kinds of weather, whether it's polar vortex or if it's a rainy day or if it's a warm summer day. Uh, so that's definitely part of it. Um, but there is a piece that once you get the dog piece down that you have to also embrace, and that's working with people. And people in our class have come from all walks of life and from all over. We have Sergio from Brazil. We've got uh, Tom from as far as Alaska. We've got Dorothy from Canada. And so everybody comes from a different uh, point of view. And you have to be able to work with that individual to help them get through uh, a very, I would say, challenging and also rewarding experience working with a guide dog and learning how to work with a guide dog. And for some of us, we're working with a guide dog for the very first time, and you'll hear from Tom in a few moments. For others, like Pat, who are very experienced guide dog handlers, you're trying to make sure that the habits you've learned over the years are still in sync with how the dog has been trained, because the dog training does evolve, right, Kathy? Yes. And so we make sure that we're putting all those pieces together. I encourage anyone, whether you have friends or family, Guiding Eyes for the Blind is growing, and we are looking for guide dog mobility instructors. It's a career path that will provide you with a lifetime of not only unique experiences, but the ability to work with dogs, but also the reward on a day like today when you see the direct impact of your work on someone who's blind. If you are interested, Janine Petrero, are you here, Janine? Our HR director is there. Please stand up, Janine. Talk to Janine. <laughs> Um, there is one rite of passage, though, and the students uh, made sure that I promised them that I would do this, to be to GDMI. Everything emanates from the tree pouch, and I have my tree pouch here on my side. Uh, and uh, you, students, you know what I'm going to do, right? Uh, you're required to eat a Charlie Bear. Oh. <laughs> you ready? A little bit like, a little bit like um, chicken. Mm. April Fool's moon cheese. <laughs> Kathy, come on up. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Tom. And no, I'm not going to eat a Charlie Bear. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's graduation, where we're here to celebrate our graduates and honor the many people who've made today um, possible. And I'd like to ask a very special group of people to please stand up. That's our puppy raisers. Would you all please stand? so wonderful to see you all here and you and your families. You've given so much to raise a Guiding Eyes puppy, so much of yourselves. Pardon me. Forty-two years I still get verklempt. Um, <laughs> so much of yourselves and so much of your time. And by raising a Guiding Eyes puppy, 
you have provided a blind person with the opportunity to experience greater independence, confidence, and the joyful companionship a guide dog provides. It's a gift beyond measure, and we are very, very grateful to all of you. Thank you so much. And Pat, Karen, Allie, and Deanna, you've done a masterful job of preparing these teams for success. Um, your compassion, your professionalism. Whew. I need to take a breath. <laughs> and I, you'll have to excuse me. Your, your compassion, professionalism, and dedication has been clearly evident throughout this class, and we're so very proud of the work you've done. Thank you. And of course, Rachel, for everything you've done to kind of keep the class running smoothly, that's no small task. So thank you very much for all you've done as well. And is Nick Speranza here? No, he's, he's, what's that? He's on a race. He's on a race. Okay, well, there you go. Nick Speranza is our running guide specialist, and he is largely responsible for logging in the miles many miles in preparing a running guide and then also working with the team. And he does so with such great enthusiasm. His work is also really appreciated. So a thank you and a warm round of applause for Nick. <laughs> and to the graduates, this is your day. Enjoy it. We know you've worked very hard to get here and we don't underestimate the courage, the grit or determination it takes to apply to partner with a guiding eyes dog and you've exemplified all that and so much more helen keller said life is a daring adventure or it is nothing and you've all succeeded in daring so greatly congratulations and on behalf of the entire staff here in yorktown patterson and all our remote staff we wish you many years of happy adventures with your new guide dog and a huge thank you to everyone who supports us on this journey and on our mission we simply couldn't do it without you. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Kathy. At this time, I'd like to introduce our first graduate speaker, Thomas Klass. Well, hi everyone. Um, as Kat just said, I'm Tom Class. I want to thank you all for attending this graduation on behalf of the April 2019 class. It means a lot to us that you're all here. It's been amazing, but it's also been very challenging and difficult. <laughs> so what was it kind of like for us? Well, starters, we've had a team of awesome instructors. Let me just deal with this guy for a minute. Good boy. So, you know, our team of instructors has put up with a lot from us. <laughs> and they are awesome. Um, the rapport that was just, it was just amazing how well they were able to connect with each of us on just an intimate level and joke around, properly instruct, just everything. These, these four are awesome. Well, five too, because Rachel's pretty cool too. <laughs> she did an amazing park job in Manhattan. Um, <laughs> uh, so, you know, I'm a first time got, uh, dog guide user. And I just want to say that thank you to the donators who have funded this process. It would not be possible without you. Thank you so much to the puppy raisers. Um, I've raised a puppy. I know what it's like to have, a, especially a lab. And <laughs> I, I, I just, what you guys do is so important for us. Um, I just thank you just for the sacrifice, the love, everything you pour into these dogs is noticeable from the minute we meet them. So just thank you. Well, um, about it for me, uh, I guess I do want also want to mention one more thing, and that is a thank you to Nick Speranza. He is not here. Um, I know what you guys are thinking. This guy must run a lot of marathons. Just my body type just says it, but no, I don't. But he was. I did pursue the running program, and um, it was just 
awesome. And so I just want to say thank you to Nick. And again, thank you to everyone who's been involved with this. Professors, donators, puppy staff, administrators, and the amazing kitchen crew we've had. Just everything has been awesome. So um, that's just from the beginner's point of view. Coming up next, we have a veteran guide dog user, Miss Pat, but I like Catherine. Our second speaker is Pat Kelly. Good afternoon. I picked up my first guide dog harness handle in 1970. Very emotional for me. It was 49 years ago. <laughs> um, I have to say, guide dog using has evolved, and it is probably some of the hardest work anyone will ever do. But I picked up my first handle between my freshman year in college, and I mean, between my senior year in high school and my freshman year in college. And it was, Something communicated to me through that harness handle, and it was self-confidence, it was independence, it was everything that I didn't have in high school. You know, as a teenager, you are the star of your own personal drama. And when, <laughs> and you know, when you have a bad day and you, you know, it, it's like, it's magnified. You know, I walked into a trash can and I knew that everybody saw me walk into that trash can and it was, you know, going up on the six o'clock news, you know. <laughs> if I banged into a door, a half-open door, it was embarrassing. But once I picked up my harness handle for a guide dog, all of those demons went away. And suddenly, I didn't feel people looking at me as if I was doing everything wrong. All of a sudden, I felt more positive. People were looking at me and, and my dog as if we were a team, which, of course, we were in varying stages, but we were. And it was a positive feeling. And, you know, you can't, you can't replace that feeling. Guiding Eyes offers everybody that, that is here the chance for that feeling of freedom and self-confidence and independence that comes when using um, a guide dog. All of the fears melt away and walking with freedom and dignity and independence suddenly just becomes who you are. So I want to thank Guiding Eyes for that. I want to thank Guiding Eyes for the culture of kindness that they show here every day to all of us. Some of us ask, I know I did, and do the same things wrong, ask the same questions, and it's patiently explained over and over again, this is the way we do it. <laughs> Nobody loses their temper and says, hey, I told you that 15 minutes ago. What part of this don't you understand? Which is probably what I would do. But anyway, <laughs> so it takes a village to get this done. It takes a village to get to graduation day. And for that, I'm very thankful and appreciative of all of everybody, from volunteers to puppy raisers to housekeeping staff, to kennel staff, to kitchen staff, to administration staff, and to our wonderful team of instructors that we had this year in this class. I thank you very much. Thank you, Pat. 
At this time, I would like to introduce Kate Lynn Landry, Regional Manager of Pup Programs, to make the presentation of photos and certificates to the puppy raisers. Thank you. On behalf of the Guiding Eyes for the Blind Canine Development Center, I'd like to extend our sincere and heartfelt congratulations to this month's graduating class. It is a privilege to be here to share this day with all of you. I'd like to thank our team of over 1,400 dedicated volunteers, our generous donors, and our dedicated staff who make the journey of a Guiding Eyes puppy possible every step of the way, from our brood stud foster families, our early socializers, our home socializers, home litter care volunteers, puppy sitters, regional coordinators, kennel and administrative volunteers, both here in Yorktown and in Patterson, our tour leaders, our ambassadors, you name it. It takes a village to raise a puppy. And finally, thank you to our puppy raisers who give the ultimate gift. I'd like to ask every person who volunteers for Guiding Eyes at this time to please stand. Thank you. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, I would like to present our pup raisers with their certificates and photos. Please, when we call your name, have one member of your family come up to accept your certificate and photo. All right. First off, Diane Martin, who raised Guiding Eyes Delaney from the Capital New York puppy raising region. <laughs> Diane is also one of our regional coordinators. All right. Next, the Trap family from Southern Connecticut, Razor of Guiding Eyes Gaston. <laughs> the Bosley Smith family from Montgomery, Maryland, Razors of Guiding Eyes Gunner. They could not be here with us today. Also for Gunner, Allison Lund from Lower Westchester. Mr. Owen Walsh, Razor of Guiding Eyes Illa from Montgomery, Maryland. They could not be here with us today. Also for Illa, Megan Chaffin from Cleveland East. A couple more for Illa, Paul and Cindy Swift from Wayne County, New York. They could not be here with us today. And lastly, Donna and Stephen Dirks from Wayne County, New York. They could also not be here with us today. For Iowa, we have Gary and Barb Pazul from Adirondack. Barb is also one of our regional coordinators. For Jethro, Doris Denny and Michael Eaton from the Maine region. Razor of Guiding Eyes, Jethro. They could not be here with us today. And from Duchess, New York, we have Helen West and Susan Croa. Both Helen and Susan are staff members here at Guiding Eyes. Raisers of Guiding Eyes, Kendrick, Cora, and Dick Martin from Southwest Connecticut. Cora is my lovely regional coordinator in my Southwest Connecticut region. Raisers of Guiding Eyes, Lynx, Bethany and David Oliver from Westchester, New York. <laughs> Bethany is also a staff member here at Guiding Eyes. And also for Lynx, Betty Goldfarb from the Northern Connecticut region. <laughs> Raisers of Guiding Eyes, May, Denise Petza from the Baltimore region. Razor of Guiding Eyes, Sheldon, Cheryl, and Don Matzak from Delmarva. This is Cheryl's 22nd puppy for Guiding Eyes. Razor of Guiding Eyes, Sylvia, the Herman family from Eastern Connecticut. Uh, 
And I apologize, I missed somebody for Sheldon. Also, Kai Fang from Montgomery. Sorry about that. <laughs> One more for Sylvia Avis Hall from Eastern Connecticut. And last but not least, as a part of our residential program, we have Guiding Eyes Fimble, raised by Susan and Roger Lahamadou from Cleveland East. And we also would like to recognize three dogs from our home training program. Amore was raised by Jonathan and Gemma Carter from the Baltimore Puppy Raising Region. They could not be here with us today. <laughs> Guiding Eyes Mikey was raised by the Inglis family from Northern Connecticut. They could also not be here with us today. And last but certainly not least, Guiding Eyes Pebbles was raised by Janet New City from the Columbus Region. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. From small beginnings come great things. I'd like to introduce to you two future guide dogs, Petals and Patton. Petals and Patton will be available for potographs at the end of graduation. They're located out of Alumni Hall. Take a left down the hall into the canine salon. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pretty hard to follow those two cute guys, but I'd like to leave you with a quote by Helen Keller. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, I would just like to thank uh, my colleagues at the Canine Development Center that bring these puppy tinies into the world, our puppy raisers who, with the help of our de uh, dedicated regional managers, nurture the dogs into adulthood, our kennel staff that cares for the dogs so diligently, the nurses that take care of us all, the kitchen staff that feeds us all, and the maintenance staff that fixes everything I break. Uh, I really couldn't do we couldn't do this without everybody. Um, to my team of instructors, Karen, Allie, and Deanna, you have made the past three weeks full of laughter and learning. You have created a lighthearted, safe environment for our graduates to learn how to be successful with their new guides. It was three weeks filled with a lot of hard work, many smiles, and many memories. I would also like to acknowledge Rachel. You have gone above and beyond this class, you should be very proud of yourself. You are an asset to Guiding Eyes. And I'd like you to stand up because Rachel will be giving the tour later. So look for that face. <laughs> and to the graduates teams that sit before us, you have all put forth a tremendous amount of effort and hard work. You have created new friendships with your classmates and made memories which will last a lifetime. From your rocky workouts a couple weeks ago to conquering Manhattan a few days ago, you will leave here tomorrow with a newfound freedom and independence. You are part of the Guiding Eyes family now, and we are here to support you in any way possible. Now for your graduation certificates presented by the instructors. Stephen Wagner and Guide Dog May. Lucy Radford, Guide Dog Gunner. Michael Madfis, Guide Dog Jethro. Erin Sutton with Guide Dog Gaston. Elizabeth Lesperance and Guide Dog Sylvia. 
Tom Class with Guide Dog Links. Pat Kelly with Guide Dog Iowa. Sergio Faria and Guide Dog Illa. Vanessa Lewis and Guide Dog Thimble. Philip Goldberg and Guide Dog Sheldon. Dorothy Moorcroft, Guide Dog Delaney. And David Alvarez with Guide Dog Kendrick. Before we close this afternoon, I'd like to take this one opportunity to thank everyone who was involved to make today possible. Best of luck to our graduates, and know you leave here with the capabilities to accomplish your dreams with a trusted companion by your side. Um, there will be refreshments up in Rosie's Cafe after the ceremony. We're looking to start the kennel tour around 3 o'clock. Uh, please give the graduates just a couple seconds to get set up, and then the puppy raisers are welcome to come up and meet. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thomas.